Hello YouTubers and welcome to an unboxing stroke overview video of my new Dyson V6 Total Clean Vacuum Cleaner. So let's get to this. I'm going to get it opened up. We're going to see what comes with this particular product, get it all laid out. Um, at a later stage I may do a review on the performance of this vacuum cleaner as well. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments to this video. So let's get it open up and see what this comes with. Okay, so first off, let's break the seals. I'm trying to get that in, he says. So there is a seal there. And a seal there. There we go. Okay, let's work out how we get into this. There we go, I lift it up. Like so. So I'm going to try and tilt this over without everything falling out. So there you get to see what the box looks, box looks like. So, first off we have all our documentation. The story of Dyson. Um, in there's gonna be warranty information, guarantees, um, and I'm assuming, yeah, operating manual. There is the operating manual there, so I'm not gonna get all that out, um, but we have that. Right, now let's get these out piece by, in fact, if we can get the main bit out first, it might make more sense. There we go. So first off, we have the main component, which is obviously the handheld vacuum cleaner itself. Well, oh, we do have power actually, so. There we go, we hear the power. Um, but there we go, so we, uh, we have the Dyson V6 itself. It's pretty cool actually, so I'm looking at this in person for the first time. There we can see the top. Okay, so let's just put that to one side for a minute. And then we will try and grab out and take these bits of packaging out so that I'm not leaving anything behind. Okay, let's try and get this out. Right, we then have and grab a large pole. Yeah, I am attempting to get the packaging off. Okay, so this obviously is to fit. It is very long, it's a nice colour, really nice colour actually. So this will fit on to the handout vacuum cleaner, he says. Let's try and get it the right way, might help. that so there we go um, that's obviously now so that we can use it standing upright on the floor um, yeah again looks pretty cool I do so quite like the color um, so far I'm simply press and pull that out so what else have we got we have now come into some of the tools this is quite big so this is obviously the vacuum cleaner head and bear with me while I get into this Okay, there we go. So that is one of the heads. I'm assuming. Come with a different one. Yeah, there's another one in there. Now, ah, is this the hard floor one? I think this one might be the one for the hard floor, or it could be for the carpet as well. But anyway, we've got the um, vacuum cleaner head there, which can be used either directly onto. Um, the handheld vacuum cleaner again, like so, or on the pole, if you want to use it standing upright. So, we have that piece, but we have the other one, which is the smaller one. You can see here, this has got the more um, standard kind of bristles, brush head on it. Um, so, yeah, we have another brush head there. Well, a lot of pieces in here actually, I have to say. We then have another piece, um, very similar to the one I had with my other vacuum cleaner. We have that piece there, or you can push that forward for the soft brushes, like so. Again, push it back down. So, another <laughs> tool there. All yeah, right, okay, we have obviously the power, um, which we can see here. So, this is the power cord, which you obviously need to charge the 
hand out vacuum cleaner. I'm in the UK, so it's a three pin plug. We have got another piece. This is, I think, this is a crevice tool for getting into obviously smaller places. You can see that it's quite small. This is what I tend to use most. Current Dyson. Oh, and another one. All right, okay. All right, this makes a bit more sense. Right, then, so that one, I think, there is for. Um, doing things like uh, sofas, um, dog beds, cat beds, that type of thing, it's smaller. Right, and we've then got another one, another head. This is really good, the amount of pieces this comes with actually. Um, so this is either, now I think this one's the carpet one, I've probably got this totally wrong. I'm sure you'll all point it out, I should have read up on it in the first place, but I, my th I think that's for hard floors, and that one is for hard floors. Did I just say that right? That's for carpets, etc. No, that's for hard floors, and that's for doing carpets. You've got the bristles on there. So that one's going to be a carpet one, that one's going to be a hard floor one. But look at that, pretty cool actually. So, really good. This comes with so many accessories, and I think this is the final piece that's in here. Um, and this is the charging dock. You can see there, some instructions. I've already got one of these for my other Dyson. I'm assuming it's the same. Uh, looks the same anyway. I'm hoping that I can simply um, dock that one, my new one, with my old charging station. I'll probably put this one somewhere else, like upstairs in my house. And I think that is everything that's in the box. I'm going to get this all laid out and I will be right back. Okay, so there we go, and there you get to see everything as part of this unboxing of my new Dyson V6 Total Clean Handheld vacuum cleaner um, and it does look pretty awesome I have to say I'm really impressed with the amount of accessories um, that come with this one from memory far more than what came with my previous um, Dyson handheld vacuum cleaner um, obviously the separate brushes for um, hard floors and soft floors as well is fantastic you've got the upholstery ones the crevice ones um, so great awesome absolutely awesome I just hope it lives up to expectations like I said with regards to the actual um, performance but let me know if you want to uh, see a video with regards to my uh, opinion with regards to the performance of the vacuum cleaner once I've started to use it anyway guys hopefully you did enjoy this video if you did give it a big thumbs up hopefully you how uh, you found it informative like I said thumbs up if you did any comments questions feedback down in the comment section and like I said if you want to see a video with regards to my opinion on the performance let me know down in the comments section to this video while you're down there, have a look at the links to my other social media, in particular my other YouTube channel, which is Geeky Bricks, which is my main channel, which is all Lego related, as you can see in the background here. Lots of Lego minifigures. Anyway, guys, that's it for now, and that just leaves me to say, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers, bye for now. Bye, everyone.